Well, hello there, Penelope. Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in. We're heading out to the Urban Stell Shelter where I'm gonna start dodging these guys. I gotta get me a stick. Anyway, we're gonna start our uh, little lean-to project. I'm just gonna pretty much figure out a location and uh, start some framework. Nothing too crazy because I got uh, something planned. I'm gonna be heading out of town. So I'll spill the beans. I'm going to Colorado. I'm gonna play around in the mountains for a little bit. Get a little bit of mountain therapy in my life. So yeah, that should be fun. Go down there for a few days, film some stuff, get a few adventures in. Switch it up a little bit. Instead of staring at cornfields all the time. Ooh, you almost got me there, mister. You almost got me. I don't know if he's focusing on you guys or not. I can go under him. Leave me alone. But yeah, that's the game plan. Oh, whoa, they're everywhere. I don't like it. Kind of outdoorsman are you? Get away from me. <laughs> Sorry, dude, but you're gonna have to rebuild. This is freaking me out, man. I don't like it. I don't like it. But we've got some really good weather lately. It's been like fall temperatures, seems like. So the skeeters haven't been bad. So that's a plus. But let's go down here and frolic and see what we can mock. That's even a word. Mollock around. Whatever. Alright, well, let's do a little quick overview of the regular shelter. The foliage here is just ridiculous. Everything still seems to be intact. Door's still over it as I left it, so she'll be alright. But what I think I'm gonna do, what I originally planned on doing, was doing like a lean to with like a flat, how do I put this, like a lean-to with a flat part on the front, like a flat porch area that I could eventually like turn in to like a treehouse top, kind of, I don't know, but I was going to do it right and directly in front of this, but with the way I want to do it, I think I'm going to have to do it back in this area, find, am I going to attach it to some living trees? And I think, honestly, what I'm going to do is probably use this tree here, this tree here, do like a simple, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. That's going to be my place. And then for my uh, little tree top area, I can just use these three trees right here and then have like a little triangle kind of porch area poop or uh what do you call it on a on a ship poop deck <laughs> i don't know crow's nest whatever that's the game plan yeah you're gonna hear a bunch of city noise and all this stuff because this is an urban location for those of you just tuning in who do not know so that being said i'm gonna try to get uh some framework going on this see what happens well i bought brought my uh glorified fanny pack, tiny A, almost said a curse word, backpack. <laughs> so we're just gonna wing ding chicken wing some stuff. I don't have paracord. What I did bring is like some 20 pound fishing string that I had laying around just to get everything put into place pretty much for the day. Yeah. We'll see. Oh, 
either bit me or it clamped on me. <laughs> Freaking out. Whatever, leave me alone. Don't mind me. Freaking out the sticks. Yeah, the fruit loop. For most of this build, there is not a lot of dead trees in this area. So I will be having to use live tree, but they are in abundance. So some of you are gonna be like, oh my God, he's out there slaughtering. It'll be all right, come morning, all right? It'll be all right. And I don't know why I decided to wear shorts out here. There are a lot of nettles. Feels great. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this, something of the sort. Just put it down somewhat low. Or maybe about mediocre height. Yeah, something like that. And then that's what I'm gonna run. Put it down so you can see it. So I'm pretty much just gonna do it like that. Back in here, I might put up a kind of like a uh, what the heck would you call it? I guess like a wind block for fire for the other end to sit on so it's off the ground. Possibly, we'll see if we get that far today. Okay, okay, okay. All right, here's my fishing string some 20 pound. I don't know if you can see it all too much, it's not too crazy, but I had a lot of it and it's never been used. So, I'm gonna use it. So we will see what happens. It's gonna be fun trying to hold this up by myself. Good times. Let's see if I can just get it uh, somewhat into place. Great idea this was. If I can get it up there just enough to, long enough to hold it, and then I could run the spindle around it multiple times to help tighten it up. Once I just get it up there. No, this isn't the most orthodox way of doing this, but do work with what you got, whatever works for you. Like I said, this is just to get this up here for today. And I can always add paracord later. Do that. to utilize each tree the best we can that way we're not taking so many that's a given but <laughs> what I'm gonna work on now I'm, I am gonna do the uh, I'm gonna try to bring it up maybe about I 
don't know, three feet or so, this back end here for the back half of the lean-to. I am just gonna do it just like a wind block for a fire. So two stakes on each side and fill up the middle. I guess you'll see when I'm done, huh? Alrighty. There's a college over there. You can hear them all cheering. Must be playing frisbee. No, I'm just kidding. Stuff is kind of spongy because it is still living. Hopefully we can make this work. We shall see. I think there should be plenty of room in here. Our bed back in here and just an open front. Nothing too crazy. It's a nice little lean-to. the most ethical way of doing that but it'll do cool part well the treetops that are left over I can use for my sides so at least dragging them over here half of that work's already done so the next step will be somewhat faster but what we're gonna do today is just get this back up and probably maybe two sticks along the side to at least get our framework done so that's the game plan there good good
think that's as high as I'm going to go. Tie this bad boy together. Yeah, something like that. Oh, bad, there's a slip in the Let me get this thing tied together. All right, well, the back half is up. So we get an idea of what she's going to look like. I'll be able to sit in here, and then from this tree back will be the bed. And we'll just have the commons area out here or something. <laughs> nice little coffee pot in the corner. Something like that. I'm going to throw up one more stick. And then the framework is pretty much done. And then it's just pretty much throwing the roof and the sides on and making a bed. So one more stick. I am going to add like a uh, kicker on the back wall. And of course you see the gaps. But I'm going to fetch all that in. Some twigs and branches and then some juniper tree. But this one is just technically going to be the outdoors. How can I, how can I put that? Not the outdoor shelter, but more like the warm weather shelter. So I guess more the breeze the better. More than anything. Because that shelter, that's pretty much straight winter. It's, it gets humid and hot in there because the walls are lined. Some of you know this. Maybe I'm just rambling now. One more stick! And then we're going to kick ticks and beat feet. Oh, that one's long enough. Yeah, we may have to do some thicker sticks. That was just the top of one. That was nearby and easy to grab, but at least we got the layout. We got an idea of what we're going to do. I mean, it's not going to be too crazy big. Maybe you could uh, spoon two people in here. I don't know. Whatever you may like, we'll find out eventually. But <sighs> All right, we got to pack up camp. I'm about out of time. But at least we got this going in the works. It started. We got most of our treetops at our disposal for our side. So that's easy pickings right there. So that'll make the next step quite a bit easier. So hot digging a dog. Look at my shoes. Little prickly things. Not gonna lie. Had had some go down the back of my shorts. Kinda scratched up my my buttocks. Not always the funnest thing. Alrighty guys. Ugh, let's beat feet, shall we? Get out of here. Well guys, thanks for coming along for my shenanigans. At least we got a new project started. Something fun, something new. Winnie the Pooh. Anyway, yeah, sorry. Hopefully soon I'll be able to start pushing more content. Like I said earlier, I am gonna be headed out to Colorado for a few days, so I'll have some more videos there. But work-wise, it's been picking up and that's what feeds my kids and keeps a roof over their heads. So I have to, of course, pursue that for now but anyway that's not your problem you just want to see me act retarded in the weeds not retarded silly goofy that's a better word excuse my foul body mouth there it's not a good word anyway yeah with that being said make every day a great exploring earth we'll catch you guys on the next one stay tuned like a hot air balloon in a monsoon see you soon bye bye now